It's the Big Mad Morning Show. 918-460-B, 918-460-2328. You can also send a text to Biggie's Junk, and that number's 918-378-2328. So yesterday, the show was wrapping up, and I was just looking on Twitter, and I happened to, I follow me state, the, uh, the, the female MMA fighter, right? Mm-hmm. And I saw her write something about coming to Tulsa, and I was like, that would be awesome to have her on the show. I'm not even lying. He did just that because he was sitting over there on the computer, do do do, and he goes, "Mr. Tate's coming to Tulsa," and I was like, "Who?" <laughs> and then he's freaked out. He yeah. freaked out about it. And I know you're really active with fans on your Twitter. You're very cool to them. I'm sure there's some douches that you ban, but so anyway, <laughs> you you you, Only I couple. right. And so I sent you know, and you're like, "Yeah, t- oh, yeah, sure, we'll set it up, we'll figure it out." And Josh, who knows Dorothy, and and. uh was like, helped work it out. So, and here you are, which is awesome. What a small world, huh? Right? Yeah, make sure you get right on that microphone for me. And so, um, you were coming in town just to hang out? Well, I'm actually here for my BFF, Nick Lee. I'm cornering her uh, this Saturday. She's fighting, and so I'm really stoked to go out to the first all-female fight card of Invicta and watch her kick some butt at 105, her first time dropping down there, so... Exciting stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. So you came out to help your friend. And you've been to Tulsa before, right? Yeah, I've actually fought here a couple of times. Or Shawnee. I don't know if I actually ever fought in Tulsa. Yeah, but you fought in Tulsa once when you um, defended your title belt yeah. against Valerie. Okay. Yeah, I guess I fought here a couple <laughs> times. I lose track now. I've right. been doing this too long. <laughs> you were the female female Bantamweight champion for FCF, which is Josh is the 185 FCF champion. So oh, it, what's up? Yeah, what's right? Up? Isn't that, you guys have like a handshake or something, right? <laughs> oh, it's Secret like special. Society. We already yeah. did it. You yeah. guys, you guys oh, missed it. it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And the fight that you're talking about, the all-female card, is this weekend up in Kansas City at Memorial Hall. Yeah. And so if you guys want to travel and see some awesome female fighting, that's going to happen in Kansas City at Memorial Hall. Or if you can't make it, you can go to InvictaFC.com. You said they're going to be streaming it live, right? Yeah, for free. For and, free. And you said it's all pros, right? No Amy's? Yeah, this is going to be a sick women's car. Like, for any doubters out there that think that maybe there's women that, I don't know, don't know how to fight or, you know what I mean, like, that there's not enough depth, like, this is going to be the card that's going to prove you wrong. This will be the card that will change your mind. So if you have any doubt whatsoever or if you just enjoy being entertained, hop on the website or come to the show, and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. I, I think you letting your arm bend the wrong way proves that, you're way tougher than me. Well, put it this way. Women are built to have babies. <laughs> right. Doesn't that say enough? Yeah. How crazy is that? That blows my mind. That I'm like, true. I'm never doing that. But I can definitely, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think we're just made to be tough, you know, so. <laughs> Misha yeah. Tate's in the studio. And and at that fight, you how many times did you get out of the arm bar? At least, was it three? I, I got, no, she put me in it. She tried to catch me in it once, um, and I got out of it. And then we got back up, and we're scrambling around, and I had her back, and I was trying to take her head off uh, <laughs> right. with punches. I actually have a really cool picture. It's like my favorite moment of the fight. But um, And then, uh, yeah, she caught me at the very end. Um, you know, I think there's about maybe 25 seconds or 30 seconds left on the clock. And yeah. I'm surprised the referee me. didn't stop. Like, the way your arm looked. Yeah, you know, my I wife, guess... we were watching at home. My wife looked away like she was like, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> She wouldn't even watch it. I, my dad said exactly the same thing, just about that same way, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure, but he was a lot more passionate about it. He was a little it. more shrill. Right. No, um, I think the referee, you know, every referee does it a little differently, and I think he was more just like, you know, you're a professional fighter. You've been doing this long enough. You know when to tap, and if you're not going to tap, then it's at your own discretion. So I'm not going to call the fight because you know. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. this is a title fight. I'm not going to call it too soon and be blamed for stopping the fight like if if you don't want to tap, that's your choice, you know. So I respect that personally. I'd rather be given the option than every to have time. it. Yeah, I, every time I as a fighter, I would never want a fight stopped. I would, ra- you know what I mean. I I absolutely appreciate the fact that the referees give us that credibility as professional athletes. We do this for a living, you know. And I knew I should have tapped, and I had a I had time to tap, and I chose not to because I just didn't want to give up, you know. Um, right. In that, it's so hard to explain, but in that short moment of time, there's so much going through your brain, and all you're thinking about is your fighting instinct is like, don't quit, don't give up, you can get out, you're, you're praying for like any ray of hope, you know, and 
then it's just done and you're just like well I, I was like well my arm's already torn now so you know I might as well try to stick it out even longer and then she started shoving it down by her hip and I was like okay then maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> some sense of like common sense actually started to en Ugh. enter my brain and I thought you know I better probably tap out before I don't even know. You even never get to use your arm, arm again, you know? Yeah, you know, and everyone's watching on TV and they can see what's happening, but I couldn't see it. You know what I mean? So it's all right. like a feel. Like I felt it go, um, and then I couldn't even understand where my arm was. Like it wasn't relative to like anything I ever felt before, mm -hmm. but I couldn't see it. Like I just knew it was out of joint. Oh, I didn't right. know how bad it was. It was. Gruesome, so yeah. when, the, when the ref stepped in and like made you stay there, and there was a great camera shot because they got right on your face. You weren't crying or anything, but you could tell that your mind was somewhere like you were thinking about something. You looked pissed. Uh, like, yeah, I was. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, son of a biscuit. <laughs> and I'm sure you've been asked this a hundred times. Obviously, you trained to defend the arm bar. You got out of yeah. it so many times, and you knew she was going to go straight for that. What Did it go to game plan? Like, did it go exactly the way you wanted? Or did you? Did everything happen the way you predicted? Um, you know, I was okay with most of the fight up until that last, um, the last throw that she got me in. I think that's where I made the mistake when after we got back to our feet and we'd had some scrambles. She tried to get me in the armbar. I had a really good defense the first time, which uh, no one's really ever defended her armbar. So at least you know, right. I can say that I defended one of them. Um, and then we got back to our feet, and I was feeling really good. Um, I just remember when we hit the ground uh, the first few times that she was tired. I remember she was breathing so hard, and I was like. This bitch is tired. I was like, oh my God. And we got back to our feet and I was like, oh, I'm going to bounce around. I'm like, I'm going to finish this round strong. I'm going to make sure that, that she doesn't want to come out for the second round, you know, that she's going to be discouraged. And I came in really hard. And rather than, you know, get in and get out, I just kind of got in and we got into that, that, um, you know, clinch again. And then she got the toss. And then from there, you know, it was kind of a downward spiral for me where I realized I probably should have, you know what I mean, harnessed that a little more and kind of moved. Um, but... I don't know, you know, I mean, she ended up getting the arm bar from the back, which isn't something that I I trained as much, you know what I mean? That's why I defended the arm bar really well from pretty much every other position, but I guess I didn't expect her to go for it from that position, right? you know, and mm -hmm. that's probably one of the harder positions to defend it from because their weight's coming down on it, you know, and they have so much pressure, so... Any you know. talk of a rematch? I want to rematch, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, not yet, because I don't want to be super, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to Sarah Kaufman or any of the other girls that may be before me. I realize that I have work to do. You know, I don't just expect a rematch. So mm -hmm. I need to win a couple fights before I think that I deserve to be back in there. But I'm willing to do that. So Now, for both of you, did the female fighting kind of gets a bad rap as not being exciting. And obviously with the fight that you, you and Rhonda, like, it was exciting the whole time. Do you feel like it's, you guys don't get a fair shake? When it comes I, to female fights? I feel like that, and I don't know. I mean, s some people aren't exciting, but, I mean, some guys aren't exciting. You right. You know, it just depends on the fighter, really. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Josh, Brian. Josh, I'm not it's, talking about you, just, okay? I've, I've, been to, I've been to fights where uh, all night long, and, and I'm talking like 13 fights in one night, and some of the, the top most exciting fights were the chicks. Yeah, so. usually, actually, when when we get the opportunity to showcase that people are pleasantly surprised and usually are entertained and say that we're exciting, it's the people that don't give us a chance sometimes that are like, oh, you know, girl fighting, that'd be lame. But it's really not. It's actually pretty badass. I think we go out there and we don't, you know, hold back, really, because I think we kind of have a chip on our shoulders and have something to prove, and mm -hmm. we just really go out there and... Lay it on the line. Misha Tate's in studio and her friend, I'm just going to call you Nick because I don't want to mutilate your name out of <laughs> disrespect. Fine. So Nick is here. She's a local fighter and um, Misha's in town to train with her as uh, Nick has a fight this weekend up in Kansas City at Memorial Hall. You can watch the fights live on InvictaFC.com. And we were talking about what it, what it is to be a man. And one of the things we said was throw a punch. Obviously, we besides Josh, Biggie and I are pretty confident you guys can throw punches better than us. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think is something that a man has to be able to do to show he's a man? Be able to work on a car because I don't have a clue how to do that. So is it then? Is it anything a, a, a you can't do? Is that you what you want a guy to do to show he's a man? I don't think there's anything I can't do. There's just things I don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't want to learn how to work on the car, so I just have no interest in that. So you gotta be able to do that. What about I, you? That's, Nick? that's that makes you a man. <laughs> I think for me, I think um, a man has to be ambitious, like regardless of what kind of job he has, like he has to like want to do really great at his job, 
or right. whatever. Okay. What, hard worker. Yeah. Like, Passion. I can't, yeah. I can't stand lazy guys. Like, to oh, me, you're not sorry, even Biggie. a man. <laughs> you hate me. What about because dating? Uh, and I know I think your you have your your boyfriend is is a fighter as well, right? Yeah, he's actually fighting uh, in the UFC 149 up in Calgary, Canada. Right, I just saw that. Yeah, his name's hey, Brian, Brian Caraway. So yeah, shout out to him. Is when before you guys were a couple? Is it weird to have guys hit on you or talk to you? Like, uh, I would make me uncomfortable to know to you see a girl and you go up to her and you're like, hey, what's up? And then you find out she's a fighter. You're like, ooh. <laughs> it's scary because I wouldn't want to ever screw up. You know? Right, say the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we live for that <laughs> the opportunity. Wow, you're a dick. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but, you know, I think for, for our boyfriends, it's kind of funny. Like, um, there's actually a story where this guy was hitting on her, and he was plastered drunk, and he was hitting on her, and she told, you know, told him, leave me alone. And he wouldn't, and she turned to go walk away, and he grabbed her wrist, and, and Travis was just getting, her husband, was just getting ready to get up and be like, dude, leave my woman alone, and she's turned around and <laughs> dropped him right there, just like, and he's like, oh, just sat back Right, you like, don't have to worry it's about It's kind of cool, like, to, I think, to have a chick that you don't even have to, like, worry about, you know what I mean? Like, oh, she could take care of her own, you know? How does, how does, Misha, how does your boyfriend handle, like, all the photo shoots and guys acting ridiculous on your, on your Twitter and trying to... <laughs> I think for the most part, he just ignores it. He's like, ah, whatever. You know what I mean? He's a pretty confident guy. I think you have to be in that situation, you know, where you have uh, guys and whatever people talking about you all the time. You know, you have to have a good sense of security. And he just, he just, I don't know. We don't even pay attention to it. You know what I mean? We just live our lives and, you know, we do what we have to do for our career. And he totally understands all that. So right. we just he's, he's a it. fighter. He's a fighter. He understands. He doesn't mm-hmm. have to prove anything. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, it comes along with the package. Yeah. Right. But uh, likewise, um, guys who fight, sometimes don't miss an opportunity to get in a fight. Brian's not like that. He's so classy. Like, if you ever meet him, he's, like, just the coolest guy ever. Right. He's really chill. He would never get in, you know what I mean? He's, like, a walk-away kind of guy first, you know? Do you guys spar? Yeah. That's got to be weird. Her and her yeah. husband were just going at it last night. I whoa, love whoa, it. Whoa, hey, 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 all right. <laughs> But I would think that's why she's smiling. So yeah. then, so all right. So not not to get personal, but like on fantasy night when you're trying to be rough, you got to be you, really rough. Yeah, like how do you like? Come on, you can hit me harder than that. You have before. You're like like pussy. throw each other into yeah. a wall, right? Right now. I would I would think that they it, have it, a couple of patches on their walls. I've noticed. Like, <laughs> did you notice the cabinet? Like you, you girls, you girls aren't the girls to play intruder with. Is, is what I'm saying. Oh because no, because if we can't, I'll if, get attacked. Yeah, and we're tricky too. It's like you know, if if they piss us off and we know that we like they got the edge, you know, either we wait till they're sleeping and then it's like called the rolling pin, or you know, <laughs> it's the X lax brownies, or you know what oh, I mean, right? Yeah. Things, get so. get revenge. When you guys are ever fighting, does a boob pop out? <laughs> oh my I'm God. just asking a question. Okay. I Fortunately, think guys would I have know. never had that. Happen. I've never had that happen. But I have but seen it happen. I've had a friend that it happened to, and she was like beating the crap out of the girl, just like going to town and like. Boing. <laughs> and then Boing. like the ref was like, I swear he was about to step in, but he was so distracted by her boob right? that he was just like <laughs> staring at her boob. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cause was that as, Melissa? I, yeah, it was Melissa. Her nickname got changed to Flash after that. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's a good nickname, though. <laughs> that's, a per- it is. that's perfect. Like, as a ref, what do you yeah. think? You're like, should I put that back? Should I step in like, and be like, stop, Yeah, like, hold or on. how do you like, step in? Because I think he's like, oh, wait, if I dive in, I might Right, do you, do you put your, your back? Move. You like, put your back, you right? That? You're like, I'm not looking. Hold on. <laughs> not only that, the crowd would turn on that ref so bad, it wouldn't even be funny. I would probably throw stuff. She was in mount, and the girl was like, like just like and just cat scratch, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's a really good. That's a really good way to get out of mount. Right. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> just do, pull a boob out. How does? How does that? Do you guys wear like super tight sports bras underneath, or use I tape, or how do you? Everyone's different. Personally, I wear like I wear a bra and then I wear two sports bras and tape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I seriously put tape like over it, so just in case. <laughs> You guys would totally be disappointed. There's uh, like no, you know, no chance for error. No chance at all. Do you yeah. guys ever like just target? I put like a little tape over. You I know? think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. like cover your areolas and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Kinda, yeah. What do you do? You guys ever like purposely punch? Like, a, say you're fighting a chick with really big boobs. Do you do you jabber in the boobs? No, because they might wear boob cups like I do. Oh, okay. You wear boob cups. Uh, yeah. I, no, this is news to me. I didn't know boob cup, like... Are you kidding me? Have you ever got punched in the boob? Well, I have not. Guy. I have not, unfortunately. <laughs> I have so, moobs. It does hurt. It hurts. It does hurt a little. Yeah. Huh. 
And they're like, or are they like the regular cups that are made of like a plastic or whatever? And, they're like and, these shells. They just like go over. Not so, those silicone see, things that girls I wear. Know, to make, oh, no. okay. I can't stand wearing Chicken them. Chicken cutlets. Because I'm more of a grappler. So like when, if I'm just doing kickboxing in practice, then I will wear them sometimes. But I would rather just get punched in the boob. I don't even care. Because as soon as you go to the ground, those things are like, and like you have like four boobs. It's like a diamond right here. I'm like, that sounds fun. <laughs> it's like total recall. That's, yeah. that's why you get the sports bra that has like the divider. And then you Dude, stick I don't know. In. Mine was like up here. Are you I'm getting was, excited. And this is awesome. Like, and like, they're, like, they're the all touching bras. themselves. This is what's even greater. <laughs> oh. not good. Wait, wait one more time. Where were they? This was probably my best question ever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're over there mashing each other's Good boobs job, and everything. <laughs> oh. Misha Tate is in studio, and Nick is in studio, and she's a local fighter. Where do you train out of, Nick? UPC. UPC, and mm-hmm. and uh, what's your Twitter so everybody has that, too? Uh, my Twitter? Yeah. At Nick Dilly. At Nick Dilly. And she's fighting up in Kansas City this weekend at Memorial Hall. All women's MMA card, uh, all professional, no amateurs on the card, InvictaFC.com if you want to watch them. I uh, have all of uh, Misha's uh, information on our Facebook page. There's a link. You just click on it. You can find videos and pictures. Good pictures, too. You got you got a sweet toilet. Like, your butt is... <laughs> <laughs> you seen the thing? Yeah, are you cutting... An... Are you, you, so you had to drop weight. You had to cut weight? Yeah. Ugh. When's your weigh in? Friday. How much are you Friday? at? What are you at right now? I don't like to talk about that. <laughs> I just thought it was okay because it's a fighting question. really suck to have to cut weight. He's eating donuts. I, mean, <laughs> I hate donuts, so. Oh, damn it. It doesn't bother me. So the woman don't ask woman her weight thing still applies. Well, I don't like it just because I don't want my opponent to know how much weight I'm cutting. Okay. Right. So, yeah. But That's I'm fair. between 110 and 115. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fair. I, uh, that makes sense to me. I did. I just thought maybe I stepped on toes of like you don't ask a lady how much they weigh. Oh, whoa, I just okay. no. We're used to it. What I don't even care. I wrestled before I started fighting. I actually wrestled with all guys in high right? school, so that was just like normal to me. I never thought. You know, what I mean, I've never been like grown up where oh, don't ask your weight or whatever. I'm actually really heavy for how much like most people would like. So when like, you when you wrestled in high school, like, oh. uh, were guys like. Hold on, I got it. I got like, Did they get? No, I, no. Did you ever date a guy after you beat him? <laughs> in wrestling, in wrestling, no, no, in wrestling, like after you, you know, were in a match against somebody. No, I never did. I I have never dated a guy um, since I started doing like you know combat sports. I haven't ever dated a guy that I could beat like regularly like or consistent like every once in a while you know what i mean and maybe like be able to kind of get a submission or something like that but like not you know what i mean i just for for me personally i just kind of like i like giving him a good run for his money but i still like knowing that you know he's the man wow okay that's, i do awesome. i'm like competitive but like i don't want to necessarily date a guy that you know i could just like smack around but, like yeah right my bitch. I, like I no you know either. so so for translation you've let your boyfriend win every time Pretty much. <laughs> but he can. I don't have the heart to like, I'm like choking him out and I'm like, oh, just, oh, okay, you got out of you it. You got out of it. <laughs> oh, good job, honey. Yeah. You stuck in ego. He's the, he is crushed right now. He's yeah. like, that happened the other day. She let me out. Yeah. No. That's awesome. All right, we got to take a break. We come back. Mish Tate is in studio along with Nick. She's a local fighter who's fighting this weekend up in Kansas City. InvictaFC.com to watch the fights live on Saturday. We're going to take a break and we'll be back. You're listening to Corbin and the Big Man Morning Show. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh
I know. It's and she makes you eat them. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> but what, what is your favorite cupcake? We had a lady bring us bacon cupcakes, which sounds gross, they were but they were like a maple cupcake. Maple. Oh with my god! Bacon on it was um, it w- they were unbelievable. Yeah, right. salty and sweet. Yeah, I sent them a challenge by the way because I said I wanted um, uh, buffalo wing cupcake, and yeah. they're like, "We're on it. We're gonna we're gonna start messing around with it." Of course you did. <laughs> yeah. Do you? What is your favorite? Not what okay. is your favorite cup? I've tried a couple really interesting ones. Probably one of the more interesting, which is actually really good, is I had an horchata cupcake, which is like if you ever had horchata, it's like a Mexican rice milk drink. Oh right, really delicious. Good. Mm. Yeah, cinnamon. So they had, they had like an horchata kind of filling, um, and they had uh, the frosting. Oh, oh my god, I don't even know. It was so good, and it had like this little spicy piece of a dried mango on the top of it. That was really good. Ooh. I tried that down in L.A. Um, I like snickerdoodle ones. I actually like just regular vanilla cupcakes. I love them. Frosting or no frosting? Frosting, of course. Okay. Yeah. And probably my favorite, though, there's a cupcake place down here called Cupcakes with a Z. Yes. And a K, okay. right? Okay. Yes. And, a K. and they have this cupcake called the Cheeky Monkey. Mm. Yes. It, it is, is awesome. So good. It is it's amazing. It's like a banana bread cupcake, which oh, is awesome. Oh, go on. And it's super so moist, and then it has a cream cheese frosting and candy yes. pecans and a caramel drizzle. It's mm, really that sounds good. amazing. It's like just doesn't get any better than that. I, awesome. I almost drooled on my shirt. We were talking so about good. Whole Foods uh, during the break. They have these cupcakes where they dip the top in chocolate yeah. that are unbelievable as well. Mm-hmm. There have been so many cupcake places that opened up around here lately that there's Merit. Have you had Merit's Bakery? They have strawberry cupcakes that are. Unbelievable. I am not a fan of merits. Why? Just, just they were really rude to me once. So one, you're going to punish Ooh. one person. <laughs> one person ruined their their amazing because cupcakes. I, I'm not even going. I'm not going to go on about the situation. You know but, what? I'm actually yeah. gonna, not going to go on then because yeah. <laughs> I don't want you lunging over the table at me. <laughs> She's uh, ready when to she go. Says so. Stop. That means <laughs> stop. You know what's crazy? Cupcakes are on such a freaking rampage that even Albertsons had to step it up. Like Albertsons and yeah. Safeway, yeah. their bakeries now are like, look at our gourmet cupcakes. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you now you know cupcakes are famous. And I have to say that I was on the cupcake bandwagon. Way before anyone. Of course, else. Yeah. I have a question. I started. This. Oh, <laughs> you can't drop the S bomb. So oh she didn't even realize she, she said did it. it. She's <laughs> really, really uh, passionate about her. So after cupcakes. after you fight, what's the most cupcakes you've eaten on a binge? Is that oh, the first thing you go to? One sitting. I usually have one waiting for me. Yeah, right after nice. My fight, like on my pillow, like there, just waiting for me. Nice. What, what is it? Always the same flavor. It's usually vanilla. Vanilla. Uh, Sprinkles cupcakes You should get with them And have them design Like a special cupcake yeah. Just for you So when you fight In whatever city And they have a Sprinkles location Knockout cakes have, Yeah They should have a special Misha They should name it after Yeah Take cake Take yeah, cupcake Their cupcakes take are Ridiculously take good cake. too Take cake <laughs> You said it's one of your hobbies you, What's your other Um What else I like to do I like art it's kind huh. of You paint She is like An amazing artist Like she draws like <laughs> She's really good. Really? Yeah. You paint? Is it I, paint or no, pencil? She, she draws. Draws. Yeah, I draw. And recently I've been getting into like this melted crayon art. It's yeah? really weird. But it, it's really cool. Like you glue crayons to uh, like a board or something and then you take a blow dryer to them and you then melt them all like in different colors. And it's really, really cool. This is awesome because if you've ever watched Misha Tate fight or any MMA fighter that's a female, they, mm-hmm. they obviously kick ass. And if you've ever trained... You know how challenging the training process is. And here you are, started with your, your message to me this morning. You're like, hey, we may be fighters, but we're, we're still- chicks, so we're running late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here you we are. We still get ready like girls. And you bake, and you do crayon art, and yeah. it's like you're totally a girl girl. Which is I, which is awesome. Yeah, we both are. Yeah, like we, totally. the thing about it is, it's so confusing to some people. It's like you know, fighting is like seems so masculine, and it's like about the violence. You know, people kind of have this perception about it. You know, what I mean, to me, it's not. But that's like the perception that it's the ultimate like masculine thing that you could do, like right. fight. I think fighting is like art. Yeah, you know, okay. it really is though. And like we have, I have a totally different perspective. For me, it's just about the competition, and I love. I'm like a very competitive person in everything that I do, and so I just love the the competition. But I also I love embrace being a woman. You know, I'm not trying to be like 
a guy, you know what I mean? It just makes me feel empowered as a woman, and I love it, you know? So I'm just proud to be a female fighter, you know? I'm not trying to be a dude or anything. Right. I embrace all aspects. But to be honest, there are some women. I mean, you're both attractive women, but there are some women that, whew. Cyborg. They look like men. You cyborg. Yeah. 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 But Has I anyone mean... done a Crocodile Dundee check on her? <laughs> because I'm just saying, she's she's like linebacker big you know <laughs> not everybody can pull off the sexy not everybody can pull off the sexy fighter thing yeah i guess we're just lucky yeah god must just love us there yeah. we go when you were wrestling uh, uh, back when you were a kid did you ever think you would be like the sexy mma person no not at all and thanks by the way <laughs> <laughs> what i'm not telling you anything you don't know you don't pose in the magazines you're in in the in wearing the tight shorts or showing off part of your ass and not know that people don't think you're sexy which you by the way that. you can see those photos on our facebook page right now <laughs> <laughs> um is it weird to balance like how do you balance that how do you be like i'm an animal i'm gonna hurt people and like ooh, look at my ass i'm sexy well, I don't know. I guess it just comes naturally. <laughs> That's just awesome. Being, that is an awesome answer. I don't answer. know. It's just part of who I am, you know, just being being sexy is why not? Like, why can't we be sexy and yeah. be strong and be athletes and be fighters? Like, who who's putting a boundary on me? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not setting boundaries for myself, so... I really think I'm capable of anything, and as long as I like doing it, that's all that matters. Do, do you feel an obligation to be, like, the spokeswoman for women? Anytime either one of you are, like, in the ring and they talk to you, do you feel like you have to be the spokeswoman for women, young women fighters, or to encourage women to step outside the box? Uh, <laughs> I don't necessarily feel box. that way. I just, I just try to just be me, and then, like, if, if girls want to, like, you know, use me as a role model, then, you know... Why not, you know? Right. And I think for me, I don't feel like necessarily an obligation because I think that kind of has like a negative connotation. Like, oh, I'm obligated to do this. Like, so no, for me, it's like I'm proud to do that. Like, if if I have a chance, an opportunity to um, showcase not only my skill set, but who I am as a person and whatnot, you know, then I try to be the best role model that I can be for up and coming women and, you know, men in this sport. You know, it just it's the same. You know, we train the same. We, we do the same. We bleed the same. It's like, you know, we all we get hit, we get hurt, we get injured, we all have to have that tough mentality, you know, so man or woman, you know, I, I don't really see much of a difference, but I try to, yeah, I guess I enjoy that, I should say. I enjoy being kind of a role model and a spokesperson for women's MMA. What, what would be the platform? What would you say right now if, to girls that are listening that are trying to decide whether they should go to the factory and take the MMA grappling class, which, by the way, I've done, and, and who did I roll against? It was Liz. Oh, she destroyed me. Destroyed me. It's not, any guy that thinks they're a badass, I challenge Liz, you to go roll. Liz Carrero? Yeah. I fought her actually. Yeah, yeah. Which I she would have kicked my ass if I would have fought her. So <laughs> I got a question for you. When you when you Google your name and you hit images, there's a picture that pops up of you, and it looks like you're in a bedroom in a thong and a bra. Is this is this no, you? No, that's not even me. I okay. swear on my so life. That's not you. No, and people have been haunting me with that, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, that doesn't even to me that doesn't look like me. If you want to see what my ass looks like, then you can go on <laughs> FightMagazine.com and look. <laughs> I was going to say, because for even asking that question, I think I should punch you in the face. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, though. I <laughs> that is pretty rude. Because <laughs> like, I'm, I'm what if that scared. was me, and then you just totally put me yeah. on the spot? It's yeah, on, it's on the worldwide internet. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't put it up there. I was just wondering, you know, if if you're lucky, if, he's in between us right now. Uh, he's thanks, probably just Josh. Like, Josh, he's saving me. your life right now. Literally, yeah. I, I'm just saying. I was because my question was going to be. Like, if this was you, like, did some, you know, guy that you broke up with do this to you? You know what I mean? Like, no, because he would be dead. So. Yeah. <laughs> if some guy it, did that. If not by her, then by me. Well, I'm glad that's not you because I was going to say this must have been before you got in shape because that your ass is way better than hers. Yeah. See? So. I, it's way better. Like, yes. It's more perky. Yeah. That one's like. You could rest a drink on it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I work too hard for that. Yeah. Thank you guys both for taking time and coming up here, especially because I know you've got a fight you got to get ready for and getting up and coming in. And you guys can watch the fights in VictaFC.com. The fights are in Kansas City. All female fight card. And uh, in, you want to? You can pimp your gym. Do you need anybody? Yeah, you that's pimp what some I want to say. I just want to say, you know, like I love training at my gym. If you guys really want some great like strength conditioning. And speed and agility training, like, we mostly, like, deal with athletes, but we also deal with regular people if you want to, like, get faster, stronger, you know. Mainly we deal with strength conditioning, speed and agility, um, ultimate performance complex. And if you want to check out their Twitter, UPC Tulsa and UPCTulsa.com. So, any sponsors? It's made me a beast. 
It's They've oh, made wow. me a beast. It's an awesome wow. mini beast. It, it really is. That's any awesome. sponsors you want to pimp to for fights? Um, Babes of MMA. Thank you. Uh, I got to go to that. Is that a website? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You guys it, any, anyone else you want to pimp? I'm trying to think. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I just want to give you an opportunity to pimp some of your sponsors that have helped you out. Uh, well, do you have like a website or a Facebook or anything? You yeah, know, that I you have, have your a website. On? It's uh, nickdelete.com. Nick and and how do you spell that? It's N I C D A L I. Okay. And and Misha's if you're a fan of hers, go on her Twitter. You give away stuff all the time yeah. as well to your fans. Your guy that flew us out there, or whatever. Your sponsor guy. Do you want to thank him? No? Miss Rat. No, that's pasted that. Oh, okay. The gym. Yeah. Anyways, um, as far as I go, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks, <laughs> Pace. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pace. He's a good guy. Pace is awesome. <laughs> um. No, yeah, I have, uh, I mean, I guess Toyo Tires, Luxani Wheels, um, Curtis and Company Watches. I should write this stuff down. I never do. I always have to try to think off my top of my head. Um, Cage Candy, Tussle. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry if I forget anyone else. I can't really think off the top of my head. Um, you know, and I'd just like to give a shout out to uh, our significant others, too, because yeah. they are awesome and my my boyfriend has been I met him actually through MMA and he's been there like since day one of my career so um, he's really helped me you know evolve as an athlete and to the next level so please watch and support him he was on the Ultimate Fighter so you may be familiar with him Mayhem Bisbing he was on Mayhem's team Brian Caraway and he'll be fighting the UFC he's making a drop to 135 which is going to be crazy because mm. he's always fought at 145. And I'm like, man, now I have to drop to 125. You know what you're doing to me? <laughs> since <laughs> so we can't fight in the same weight class. Since your dude is a fighter, I usually, when a hot chick says she has a dude, I'm like, he kicks puppies. But no, your boyfriend's awesome, so I'm not going to say anything <laughs> bad about him. You better not kick puppies. <laughs> yeah. I will kick the crap out of him. See? That makes a girl hate her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys again for both taking the time to come up here and, and good luck this weekend. And I know you're going to do awesome representing Tulsa and the gym and stuff. So thanks again yeah, for Tulsa. just. Thank you, Travis Kalanick, for being an awesome husband Loser. and trainer. <laughs> 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 I'll tell him to come up here and you guys can. And go tell, out him, again. Say tell him. Tell him. Say it to his face. He's He's there. I He's... always say it to his face. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I love Travis. And next time you're in Michelle, we'll go do a cupcake tour. We'll just go around That'll and go to awesome. cupcake Ooh, yeah. places. She's taking me to this new cupcake place. Mm -hmm. what, what Organic cupcakes. Uh, sweet cakes, I think. Yes. Called? down on, Is it down on Brookside, right? Brookside. Is it on Brookside? There's no, one on Brookside. Yeah. It's not Brookside. Oh, it's a new one. I don't even know the name of it, but it's organic. It's it's like by the Bass Pro Shop. Oh. Oh, Broken Arrow? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know. I have to try an organic cupcake. I've tried just about every cupcake, but I have not done organic. Oh, so I'm going to see if it tests. Mm. If it it's good. <laughs> It's awesome. I we'll will be not checking your Twitter for that. Flavor for organic when it comes to cupcakes. So right. fingers are crossed. Again, yeah. good luck <laughs> in your fights. You're going to do awesome. I can't wait to watch and, and see the results and stuff like that. So good luck with everything. And thanks again for taking the time to come up. And uh, next time you're in Tulsa, we'll do the cupcake thing. Awesome. All right, we're going to wrap up the show. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Over the globe. Now break bread. I'm in. Boom. <laughs> The Big Mad Morning Show would like to thank troops from Oklahoma and all over the United States that made it possible for Corbin and Biggie to give them the freedom to be the douchebags that they are. We honor and respect you. It's a